Good morning, YouTube mine lovers. Tom and Julie here. Yeah, she's here. Hi, guys. We're out roaming around the hills of Arizona, western Arizona. We ditched the Jeep and we're heading up a canyon here. Um, going over to a butte about a mile over that supposedly has a few mines on it. And let's go see what we find over there. Follow the burrow trails. What beautifully rugged country we're in with the cacti and the rock structures. We're going up a, on a wash here, retracing the steps of the old miners. Still making our way up this little canyon here. We've left the main wash that we were in and taken a side wash going up now. Look at the beautiful Ocotillos here in the morning sunlight. They're flowering and everything. This is kind of behind us. Wow. Unreal. We've been hiking around here and we came upon an old, either a mining camp or a junk pile of some sort. There's all kinds of carbide cans here and other cans and barrels and buckets and smaller cans. That looked like a short water tank of some sort, a pan, all kinds of stuff around here. Corrugated steel, more carbide cans, obviously something to do with mining. Looks like there might have been a structure over here of some sort. Don't know if that was a platform for a house. Wow, look at the junk. Holy buckets. <laughs> no pun intended. Aluminum can. Bed spring, of course. Looks like a bomb went off around here. So this is pretty neat. It's a, uh, I don't know, I thought at first it was a Copenhagen, but it says United States Tobacco Company, which I don't know if that turned into Copenhagen or if it's just a separate entity, but I have never seen one of those before. There's a jar. What do you think it is? It's shaped like a mustard jar. Yeah, maybe. It's little, funny how jars have certain shapes on them. Has a little design on there. Oh, it does? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's got a little scalloping or something, yeah. whatever you want to call it. Neat. Well, we're mining. Uh, we're not mining ore. We're mining artifacts. There's a bottle over there, too. Yeah. 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 Or a jar of some sort. I don't know what that is. This is a little design on too. I think that's vinegar. Mm -hmm. When they have that top that's that top that's kind of scalloped like that. Yeah. Vinegar. There's an old five gallon can with a handle on it. There's a little jar with something white in there. Probably won't be able to get it open. All kind of cans here. Something on it. Oh wow.
Maxwell House coffee, 100% pure. Is something good to the last drop, is that their slogan? Yeah. That is cool, isn't it? Yeah, neat. There's some more tops over there, what's that one? Seems like three more over there. See up there? This one? Yeah. What's that say? Nothing. Nothing? There's another one to your left there, to your straight ahead. Straight ahead. Is that the same thing? Yeah. Cool. Here's this one. A ton of cans here too. A lot of, uh, look like beer cans. Some are newer with the, with the aluminum tops. Some are older. Oh wow, look at this. That's Miller. Oh, oh it's upside down. Look at that, Miller High Life. Opened with the church key. Cool. Wow. That's an oldie. Not super old, but you know, full steel Miller. That's probably from the 50s, I'm guessing. Nice. Huh. piece of pipe that somebody looks like they made a like a flange mount type of thing out of it that it's all bent up now but it probably mounted on the you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah lots of junk there's a whole pile of crap over here let's go down there and look around another bed spring one of the relics that never gets taken from a mine site is the bed spring the bed spring and then inside the mine is the ski swab bucket and the muck sheets. The last surviving re relics that don't get stolen. All kinds of stuff laying around here. No carbide cans there, looks like anyway. A lot of uh, corrugated steel. You gotta watch out for rattlesnakes now. It's that time of year where, it's gonna be, where they start coming out. It's gonna be about 95 degrees today. Uh, so yeah, here's another bottle. Kind of looks a little more modern. Let's see on the bottom. 51. 51. You think it's from 1951? Here's a funnel type of uh, steel chute there. And a whole bunch of, of round light duty steel pipe. Another bed spring. The old garbage can with the heavy duty uh, rim on it and the heavy duty handle, ripping handle. Look at that glass, wow. Here's a whole bunch of bricks. It looks like maybe they were from a a little kiln or a, a, a smelter or something. Who knows? There's nothing evident around. Some more stuff over here. Oh, Julie said she's onto something neat over here. Let's go look. What'd you find? Breakfast cocoa. Breakfast cocoa. Wow. Walter. Baker and Company half pound net breakfast cocoa. Is that a woman on the? Looks like a woman. Wow, that's cool. I'm convinced that miners really like their chocolate because yeah. we find more chocolatey stuff. That's really cool. The, the rest of the can wasn't there, huh? Mm -mm. Looks like a small waste rack pile ahead of me there. And further up the butte, I see another pile and possibly an opening up higher in the side of the mountain. We'll have to get a little closer and see. And 
is what's left of something over here. I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. Here's this thing from the other side. I don't know what that little deal was. If it was a little ore bin or something. Here was a big water tank. It looks like it has a hose coming out of it. Or a pipe coming out of it. Here's the waste pile. Not huge. A lot of the mines in this area are, are relatively small, smaller prospects. This one looked like it had strap rail on it because they're in it because there's a piece of the strapping right there. And here's the end of the waste truck pile. And there's a round something down there. Okay, let's go in the mine. There's a huge portal here. It looks like it's through some type of conglomerate material. There's a pipe or something coming out there. Burrows have been in here. We see burrow tracks in mines quite a bit and it's kind of scary. See, look at the burrow tracks right here. You really wouldn't want to meet up with a burrow in one of these things. Or worse yet, three or four of them. Because they kind of like to hang together. And we've seen burrow tracks as far as, I think the furthest we saw them back in the line was like 700 feet. So obviously it's pitch black at that point. Here's a hanger for the ventilation. Yeah, the brewers are loving it in here. There's a working up above us too. I'm not sure what it was, but it's possible this could hook into it. See, look at the brew crap back here. This is all burrow tracks here. I wonder if they're coming in here to drink the water. That could be. I can't see yet. Yeah, it goes a little further. You can tell we're not wet mine floors. Oh. Okay, there's Julie back there on the other side of the puddle. There's a tremendous amount of air blowing through here, so this connects up with something. Like I said earlier, there's a shaft or another working up above us. There's another puddle here. And what we're thinking is, is that we can access this without having to go through this little puddle. I know you wet mine explorers are chuckling at us, but we're out in the desert and we got a long ways to hike here today, so I don't want to have my feet soaked. But this definitely keeps going and it definitely hooks up with something else because there's about a 12 mile an hour breeze coming through here. So we're going to back out and climb up the hill a little bit and see what we see. So that's the attic we just came out of. And with all that air blowing through there, it has to connect up to this thing up here. Whatever this is where this other waste pile is. We'll find out shortly. I'm standing on top of this upper waste pile. The bigger portion of it is ahead of me there about 30 feet. And it looks like somebody's been reworking this pile. There are a lot of finds right here. And here's the opening back here. The portal's open, it looks like. A lot of these mines are still under claim in this general area. So you don't want to be taking any minerals out of here. You'd be claim jumping. Okay, in we go. More burrow stuff sign in here and then there's a rat's nest here where they hauled in the uh, 
Toya bets to guard their nest. And I'll tell you what, man, they are good at guarding their nest with those things. So it looks like there's an open stope here and a bridge, which looks a little sketchy. Oh, that's right. Wow, that goes down long ways. Watch where you're walking now. Yeah. This wood doesn't look that great. No, it doesn't look that great at all. So this is looking up into uh, through the open stove. There are a few stalls here. A very steep vein, obviously. It looks like there's probably a chute right there at the end of that. And this is all supported by stalls, but they're pretty old. And this is looking down here. There was a ladder there a little bit in the middle at one time. It goes down a good long ways. Things not overly sturdy. I bet we can make it though. Wanna try? Here's the old ladder system. I'm not taking that. So once I get past that terrible bridge, there's a huge wall on my left, probably 15 feet tall, not the tallest up here. There's obviously a fissure where the minerals pushed up. And this to me looks like wine cat poop. got that look to it. There's part of a dynamite box. Doesn't see anything on it. It hey, don't go up any higher. It gets a little more solid when you come this way. Just try to stay on the on the uh, stalls there, the braces. Just keep walking 
Yeah. Where is that one? That right here. I'm on it. Looks like she's going to make it. Yeah, don't step to your left now. There you go. You're good. Nothing to it. Ugh. That was scary. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That was scary. That is a little scary, isn't it? Mm. That's a huge wall. All right, let's keep exploring this little mine now that Julie's safely across the bridge. There's a spider. This looks like it's backfilled a little bit, doesn't it? There's really nowhere for this to come from. And it looks like it's been blasted. Oh, there's a Copenhagen tin in it. This is... Oh, yeah. Is it Copenhagen? I think so. This you, is sand. You can something. usually date them. Is that the rest of it right there? Yeah, it looks like it. Another snuff tin. Oh, they're all over the place there. Yeah, it's the same kind. Right. And most of a dynamite box sitting here, except for it's all in about a thousand pieces. Uh-oh, muck sheet already. You know what that means. We're getting near the end already. I think most of the working was down there in that huge downward stove. There's a big pile of wire. Oh, it's getting warm back here now. Yeah. Oh, so this is a quartz vein. See it? Yeah. Cool. Oh, it looks like it goes a little ways. Mm -hmm. Just a little cubby to the left. Never get tired of looking at mineral veins. Probably should have been a geologist. There's a lot of box parts. Don't see any writing on them. There's some fairly modern yellow paint. It's got some crazy quartz patterns. Here's some yellow. That's usually sulfur, isn't it? Smells a little like sulfur. Yeah, it does. I know the mine we were in not too long ago was a sulfur mine among other things that they were mining, like phosphorus, gold and silver and iron. A lot of wood parts here from boxes. Let's see if any of them happen to see anything. And it says something. I can't read it though. I don't think they're dynamite boxes. 
I'll do something else. There was track in here. There's a uh, tie with a spike still in it. Looks like Julie put the brakes on. You know what that means. You know what that means. That means we're at the face. And there it is. With the yellow 741 on it. Yeah, this is a little scary right here, I have to say. These ladders don't look very good. And this little plank <laughs> is a little sketchy. Take your time. Hang on to the wall a little bit now. Good job. So yeah, this is what we're climbing over about a... Oh man, I don't know. That's gotta be 100 feet down to the lowest point. Yeah, there's water down there, too. That's a steep vein, isn't it? Yeah. Probably about, oh, I don't know, eight feet wide in some places. And it goes right on up. Look at the hole in the rock here. They had a couple a couple of them. Something was anchored in there. And then right by this is an old one of those, either a cigarette case for your rolled cigarettes or a tobacco tin, one or the other. But it's a hinging one that hinges open. It's a little rusty. So there is a tobacco tin. I don't know what kind it is. Yeah. Old one. That, that's like a little one of those square boxes. You got crackers or yeah. who knows. Then there's a uh, wooden barrel hoop. Chuck those down there. And then here's this thing. I don't know what this is. It's kind of heavy duty. You can see how old it is, how pitted and rusted it is, and it's, uh, yeah, don't know what it is. Huh. Maybe it's part of a wheel off of a, um, or car. Wow, look at how much higher up the top of the butte is. I thought maybe we could climb it, but I don't know. And we're at a cliff right here, too. That's looking off the other way. He's kicking back down here. Here's an old top off a fuel can. Looks like they cut the sides off to repurpose for something else. A lot of times they'd use them for roofing, for like shingles, because this one has obviously been cut. Um, but I like these little vent slash spouts. I think you turn that top knob to vent it, and then the spout was how you directed the gasoline or whatever you were pouring. And underneath, you can see how it could have been a vent. So pretty cool. I've always, I always like these things. I like seeing them. little beaver tail cactus is going to have several flowers on it in a few days. Uh, what caught my eye over here was this piece of full-size rail. I think it is. But it's got all these holes on the top of it. What would that be for? I have never seen the likes. Huh. I have no idea what 
decade before. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It's got some notches like it was mounted to something. Here and there, see, like right here. So this is about a six foot long section of full sized uh, rail for, you know, a full size train. It's got those weird drill holes in the top of it for some reason. On the side of it, it reads Colorado section 753 and then it has a V111, I don't know if it's Roman numerals, but then there's a date 1915 down there. It's pretty neat. Yeah. wonder how the heck they got that way up here in the middle of nowhere. Here's a hedgehog that just popped its flower last night. You can tell how fresh it is. And it's got uh, four more big flower buds that are coming. Probably in the next day or so. We made it back to the Jeep. So that's going to end our exploration for today. We thank you for watching the video, and we'll see you on our next adventure. See you next time. Thanks for watching.